Okay, my friend, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose Velez from jbcrenshaustudio.com and if you are new here, consider subscribing. As always, smash the like, leave some comment, and share with your friends. So today, I'll be making a couple of uh, tutorials for Addictive Drum 2, which is a BST, a plugin that you can use in any DAW. I love it so much, and in every I was checking that every review I've, I've been doing, I always do it with a different uh, drum kit. So, see with the couple of the drum kit that they have, I don't have it all, but I have some. And I have this one, the black velvet, and this is a good one for rock. And I was doing this uh, MIDI song uh rock and only midi it's just the starting point later i had to do guitars live and bass live but everything is midi and i was like let's i was doing my drum from the da and then said let me bring a distance drum too because there's so easy and you can find preset and you can go around and if you haven't watched my other videos go ahead i have like five uh doing all everything and going deep today i'm just gonna play with my midi keyboard uh, to do the song and let me play a couple of examples so this is one of the example very good see already mixed it already with uh all uh you know in the channels in the mixer the eq uh, it's already done for you if you want to tweak it that's good but if you want to get the presets see for example this one the standard already with some deep in the snare some compression one send so, it's ready. This is ready out of the box. So, I'm gonna choose this preset, and here you can have a quick uh, mix if you wanna do a little bit. If you wanna go deeper than here, and I have you know the tutorial that I'm explaining all of this. For example, the effects ascend. So here, I can have the snare with two right now delay and reverse so it's reverse and then delay here and yeah this is a lot to go into the boss the room the overhead the master and if you want to <laughs> send me an email to teach you along yeah i can do that so i've been doing that too so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna play with my midi keyboard uh, this time, I'm not going to be choosing any beat from the library. I'm going to play it in the keyboard. And let's see what, what we can do this. So I'm using Reason today, but also use Studio One. Use whatever you have. So one thing, go to the preference in your system. Look for the buffer size. Right now, because I was uh, doing a little mix there, I put it in the higher sample rate, but to record, you have to lower that. But if your machine start making some weird noise and pop, bring it down. So, because this is a laptop, I'm not working in my main computer, I'm working in my laptop today. Let's see if this, my laptop can have that 256. And I'm gonna be playing here. See, this sounds amazing. See, when you go here, you have the velocity if you go from the lower to the higher. So this is awesome, the snare. So you have all the velocities and the sound when you play soft, it's soft when you play loud, it's loud, but with the character. So let's record here and I have my channel here, DT Drum, 
here I open two channels, for example, in my in in the same one, I can open a new lane without opening another channel. So I'm clicking here and I open it. Check out how do you open your another lane in your DAR. Here I have three. That way I can do the snare and the kick in one lane. And then in the other line, I can do the hi-hat. And then in the other one, I can do the crash to make it simple. See, if I had this, the latency in the uh, bigger 4000, gee, it is, it's late when I play because you have to lower that. Now it's faster, the response much faster so it's like i'm playing live and one more thing there's two things here when you go here into the lines the hamburger section i see like a hamburger <laughs> window map <coughs> general midi so two things here if you want to uh, do and find the sound on general midi normally this is the snare this is the kick this is the high tone, middle, and low, and low. This is the crush, normally in general MIDI. This is the hi-hat. So this is a standard in general MIDI. And then you have a couple of another crush, and, and crush, and the, the, the right, the bell. So it's always there. But you have the standard Aditi Drone 2, this one is great. If you are not going to be using general MIDI with other sounds that you have in your library, other, uh, also other rhythm with MIDI that you can have general MIDI. I have that, so I have to be careful because I like to use a lot of general MIDI. But if you're just going to use Addicted Drum 2 and what Addicted Drum 2 have in the library, you can stay with the standard addicting drone too and this is great let me show you why <clears throat> here i have here the kick the snare but i have the other a sample of the snare in the corner and another one so i can combine all of this so i have four here and one more here so i have five to make it more realistic, like to sound, you see, so you can play with that, but then here is not the crush, because then the crush is in other way, and the hi-hat is not here, it's here, but then you have more sounds, so you can be more creative. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I did learn uh, with the keyboard. And when you are here, then go to General MIDI in the window map. So go to the near to the beat, this section, window map. And normally it's a standard Addicted Drone 2, which is going to be in different places. But now the one that I'm using is General MIDI because the plays are always the same. So this is the kick, this is the snare. You have another snare here. And then you have the tones from the high C. And then you have the crash here. And the hi-hat here. The open hi-hat. And so, I'm gonna be playing for the kick, the snare, and a couple of tones. And then in the second take, I'm gonna do the hi-hat and then the crash. So that this is what I did. I remember buying a book of the how to uh, learn drums and then I was transferring all of this in the keyboard. And then later I bought a drum and started learning in the drum. But first I remember learning in the, in the keyboard key. So it was a lot of fun. So let's do that. Let's record here. Gonna start with the kick and the snare and the toms. And then I'm going to do an another take.
<laughs> okay, that the idea there. This is just an example uh, to show you how I was doing it. So now I'm going to do the hi hat and the open hi hat and the crash. So you can see there's a million tiles. I can do just open hi-hat or whatever it is that you are looking for. But another way I was doing it, uh, it was uh, learning how to do everything at one, which is <laughs> a lot of fun too. Take more practice, but then you have to do everything. Uh, take more wine. I, I haven't practiced in a long time, so let's see how it goes. So you get the idea, see, it's not perfect, uh, but don't worry, I did already did it here. So now I'm gonna show you how I did, uh, this one I did it in three take, uh, but do, now you know the process. So, and then if I had to fix it, I just have to go and check the nose, supervise as always, and check if I, you know, need to fix something or put more or, or See, this one is a little bug, so I have to take the snap off and then fix it manually. Um, but the good thing about this thing that is more like human, because then you are playing like in the feeling, uh, in the fields and everything. So I use a lot of system, and this is one that I was using for a long time. So I hope this was helpful. Now let's take a listen to the final that I did. See, it came out really nice. Now I have to record my guitar, my bass, so it's coming along. Uh, to close, when you go to play, to uh, select the kick or the snare or the hi-hat, then you can see what they did to the sound and study that. See, they cue, they put the bump gear, they cut the low, turn the signer, the snare, the compression is different than the kick, see? The ratio is different. More ratio here, because this is the snare. And so and so, this is good to practice and to see what is the process, what they are doing. So when you are doing your yours, you have more. So, thank you guys. Smash the like if you like this content, if you want to see more, and if you want to contact me to show you more personally, I can. Or if you want to keep uh, watching the tutorials or the videos, I already have, you know, a lot of videos with mixing tutorials. I have course with uh, music production and more. Just check it out and leave some comments. So thank you guys. Remember, release a new song. It's inside of you. And see you next time. Bye.